y'all it's markia and i am here with another video and another story time the reason why i'm doing this video is because i feel like it was highly requested for an explanation as to why i have you know the mindset that i do when it comes to some guys i made a video that recently went viral and i was like you know how rare it is to meet a man and he actually have a bed and you could spend a night and nobody pop up yeah that's very rare a lot of people are not going to keep it real but in reality a lot of men are either one living a double life two they're just lying and three they don't got it so we're gonna get straight into the story time i ain't gonna talk too much um make sure y'all click the like button and make sure y'all subscribe and make sure y'all leave a comment you know if you have any experience like this i'm gonna get straight into it so i met this guy my freshman year in college just graduated just was in college working um he, first and foremost he was about 10 to 12 years older than me he was 31 32 years old at the time when i met him um so i was like super impressed by anything at that time he pulled up on me in a nice car that probably wasn't even his car i'm probably gonna guess it wasn't his but it was he said it was his um he let me know you know his situation or whatever he started courting me we talking for like three four months i finally was like you know what i'm just gonna go hang out with him he had been asking me to come over to his house this is after he had been taking me on dates being sweet to me talking to me putting the work in so i was like i'm gonna go over his house i trust him went over his house and instantly like the vibes was weird because he started like overly explaining his decorations like y'all remember the scene from white chicks when he was like huh, that's family that's not no dog that's family Hey, cousin. Like he was acting like <laughs> he was acting like that during like the moment, and I'm like, okay. So I started getting weird vibes. I want to go home for real, but I had already agreed to go over his house, so I didn't want to be rude. I let him talk, let him vent about what he was talking about. He go in the room. He starts so showing me shoes. More than likely, they weren't his. We chilling in the bed, watching movies. Uh, we was watching like Netflix or something. I don't know whatever streaming service was out at the time and we just chilling so um next thing you know i hear a boom right through the window and i'm like oh my god i'm so scared i'm thinking that he's getting robbed yes y'all i said she like really broke the window broke the window broke the window so um i'm scared i'm literally about to call not like i done literally called my mama my everybody I'm, I'm about to call the police like everything i call my family first and my friends to let them know where i'm at i don't even really know the the address locations what in the time a thing at the at, i don't at the time i don't know i just know i was letting everybody know where i was at and i was like literally this close to calling the police and he finally came in it was like don't worry about that that's some some girl out there don't worry about that he told me to stay in the house and lock the door so i am so scared i'm on the phone with my family whoever i could talk to it's four in the morning though y'all so i'm scared i'm just on the phone i'm like okay i'm about to call the police if this get weird but i know at the time i should have just called the police for real like immediately um but i don't know something in me just felt like he was protecting me and he really did um so i look out the window tossing some girl in a circle like this like tumbling like they is out there tussling and everybody out there arguing y'all now mind you it's a tall one a small one and like a thin one but the tall one was kind of like big the um the middle one was like really short kind of like bigger like probably a little bit more a little bit more weight and then it was one that was small and skinny I'm like, I'm finna get jumped, ain't it? <laughs> I'm finna take y'all finna jump me, ain't it? <laughs> it's four in the morning. I can't call nobody to come help me. And at the time, I really wasn't like a police type of person like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like ready to just deal with how it was gonna go. So I finally go out the door and I'm like, what's going on? She was like, girl, you in there messing with my husband. I said, <gasps> what? So I say his name. He like, we ain't we ain't married my mind you 
he don't got a ring on his finger or nothing like but that don't mean nothing but that's what she said she was like you're not messing with my husband and i'm like what like i ain't know nothing so he finally just get mad and was like get in this car let's go because mind y'all he came to pick me up that was my ride he was gonna make sure that i got home safe and he did he did not let nobody touch me or do nothing to me like he really did like he did make sure i was safe but he still put me in dangers like in harm's way by bringing me there knowing he had something going on so he i get in the car and i leave and the other girls they drive off and when we get back to my house like the whole way there i'm i'm speechless because i'm scared for i just i'm young i think i'm like 20 21 years old i'm a kid i'm like i want to go home like i want to go home I'm like the whole car ride. He like she he keeps saying like she just mad that I'm out here shining. I'm out here. I got a baddie on my. He calling me a bad. He like got a bad on my side. She don't like that. And I'm like, I'm like you're delusional. Like clearly you are lying to this woman and you hurt her feelings. Like, and I'm gonna get to some more information on that. So I was completely just like done. And ever since then, like. I have, what do you call it, PTSD. So I don't like loud noises to distract me from not being able to hear anything. So just all in all, PTSD from a traumatizing experience, from one, being lied to, manipulated, um, and put in a dangerous situation. So ladies, with that being said, like I can give you all the advice in the world, but you really can't stop it if a man is going to be a liar. Um, but I am no longer in contact with him. Me and him probably had like some brief conversations after that, but completely done with him. Um, I had nothing to say to him. So that concludes my story time. Yes, my 20s was wild. I'm a grown woman now, very much smart. You know what I'm saying? Don't deal with anything like that. Those type of guys are not on the roster. These days, I date men that have their own everything don't play like that i don't deal with liars but like i said you can't help it if a man is going to be a liar so i hope that the story was entertaining i hope y'all actually visualize the story because everything i said it was no dramatics it was real hashtag never again <laughs> hashtag my 20s was crazy if y'all want any more story times let me know